There's a lot of misconceptions in the market today about how wake shaping actually works and the benefits that it provides. There's a lot of talk in the forums about does it actually make the wave bigger? Does it make the wave longer? Is it a ballast replacement? And what we found through all the testing that we've done with Delta is that this just isn't the case. What Delta does is it creates the perfect conditions to achieve the best possible wave uh, behind your boat. So if you take a look from the top view of a boat as it's traveling through the water, you'll see that there are two equal streams of water rushing around the hull. And they collide at an equal point behind the boat and they create equal amounts of wash on both sides. This creates turbulence in an undesirable surf wave. Now, when you list or lean the boat, you're effectively disengaging the one side of the boat opposite of the surfer. And what this does is it reduces the power of that stream, but it doesn't eliminate it like a wake shaping device does. But when you increase the boat speed to about 11.5 miles an hour, which is a good surf speed, this starts to break down. The water pressure under the boat builds up, and this starts to level the boat out, which diminishes the surf wave quality. So now with Delta, what we're doing is effectively adding the panel into the flow of water opposite of the surfer. And what that does is it introduces turbulence. It breaks down that flow of water opposite of the surfer. It effectively eliminates the power that that flow has. So what this does is it now allows the surf side of the wave to naturally clean up. So now you're looking at that clean, perfect wave coming off the bottom of the hull. You might think a bigger device in this case would be better, but what we found through all our testing is that just isn't the case. Here, bigger isn't better. By introducing the proper amount of turbulence with Delta, adding more turbulence into the effect doesn't deliver a cleaner wave. It puts more load on the boat, increasing engine RPM, which results in more fuel consumption. Now the shape of the wave is defined by three things. One, the hull design of your boat. Two, the ballast amount and location within your boat. And then three, the boat speed. To learn more, check out our other videos to learn how to get the best possible surf wave.